Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Tesla stock once again, and with this one specifically, we'll be focusing on a recent price target change for Tesla, and this is a bullish price target, so it's not like it has been downgraded or anything like that, as crazy as that would be. But this video is going to be focused more on some news pieces around Tesla right now. So the price target has been upgraded for Tesla stock, and this one is more revolving around China and China as an asset for Tesla. So as we know, China has been doing a lot with Tesla recently. They announced the new wrap service, which is going to provide a lot of revenue as well. And then we've heard a little bit about Tesla insurance in China. And so they're also expanding the Gigafactory in Shanghai as well. So we're seeing a lot of progress in China right now. And then there's also job listings, of course, hinting at design of a new compact car built to appease the market in China. So right now we're seeing a lot happen in China. And this is what this price target of Evaluation is revolving around a little bit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this article talking about this most recent price target upgrade, and then I'll discuss a little bit more. As always, if you all do enjoy these Tesla news videos and me sharing my thoughts about the most recent announcements as well, then please make sure to smash that like button. It really does help me out, and I really appreciate it. But getting right into this article, this is one by Benzinga, and it states, Wedbush raises Tesla price target to $1,900, calls China a paradigm changer. So as most of you all know, we had a huge growth day today for Tesla at around plus 11 percent so the share price is currently at around like 1839 I think 1835 right now so this price target is still higher than what the current share price is at so in terms of just the total history of analysts being very bearish on Tesla and giving kind of laughable fair values at least this is above the current share price it's not like the common thing that we see with a lot of institutional investors where analysts are giving it like a super low fair value or almost like an unrealistically low fair value or price target in comparison to what the share price is currently at so I do have to give props here at least this is above what it's currently at however this is kind of a little bit of a safer prediction this is definitely a safe prediction I mean it's only like 60 70 more dollars ahead from what the current share value is at so that's one thing that i've emphasized in previous videos before as well especially as the retail investors got ahead of the game on tesla and got into tesla we've learned that a lot of the analysts simply just adapt after to what tesla has already done so they react late to it to where it's not even really like a prediction they're just trying to keep up with the stock and as it makes moves they update their share values so it seems like with the analysts there's a little bit less predictions around tesla and more of just adapting to what tesla is doing and changing their targets and things based off of the share price movements so tesla is one of those stocks where i think it's a better idea to just not really pay attention to what a lot of analysts are thinking because the retail investors have been correct on this one whereas most analysts have been bearish on tesla and for those that listen to those analysts they missed out on a lot of money to be made so there is a disadvantage to taking analyst predictions as the word written in stone and as the truth however I think that's a good thing that we see analysts be wrong sometimes because it still shows that you know it's, it's that typical stock market characteristic of just total unpredictability where we've always heard that statement of how you can't predict the stock market so for me this gives me hope if some analyst can't even pick the correct stocks or get something totally wrong that almost gives me hope as a retail investor meaning there's still a chance for people like us to actually pick up on a stock early and make a lot of money and that's actually what has happened so far with tesla but this is a little bit of a side from what we're seeing right now i give these people props of course just because they're not like lowballing a price target at least it's a little bit bullish but I think there's a lot more growth to be had with Tesla, especially over these next few months, potentially. And so getting into the justification of this one, of course, this is by Wayne Duggan. So as always, thank you for the information. But getting into this one, it says Tesla analyst Daniel Ives reiterated his neutral rating for Tesla and raised his price target from $1,800 to $1,900. And his justification for this was the accelerating EV demand in China in July and August. And he emphasized that those numbers for July and August were some of the main reasons as to why he changed it from 1800 to 1900 for his price target. So he said that Tesla's China Gigafactory appears to be operating at a run rate for reaching 150,000 vehicle deliveries per year. And he also stated that Tesla appears to be back on track to hit guidance of 500,000 global deliveries by 2020, by the end of 2020. And a direct quote from him stated that we believe that the China growth story is worth at least $400 per share in a bull case to Tesla 
as this EV penetration is set to ramp significantly over the next 12 to 18 months, along with major battery innovations coming out of Giga 3. And at the end of this, he stated that success in China is a paradigm changer for Tesla's long-term global EV penetration story. Now, as I read this, I noticed a few things that I would like to point out for you all. And so keep this in mind. This actually really tells me how far these analysts are thinking into the future, which is, at least in this case, it doesn't seem as far as you should be thinking like even i'm thinking farther into the future than this right here so for example it says that the major reason there was this 100 dollars increase from 1800 to 1900 dollars was just because of accelerating ev demand in china in july and august so i'm assuming he's basing this demand off of the ev sales numbers and production numbers for july and june and as we know the model 3 is dominating right now it's selling very well in china and they're producing a lot right now with the gigafactory in shanghai but i'm i'm mentioning this because it talks about the reasoning for him changing his price target from 1800 to 1900 so he bumps it up 100 dollars just because as an analyst they're realizing more demand is happening however of course hindsight is always 2020 but i would be as bold to say is even back in november that demand could have been predicted as we know, this transition is occurring and, and Tesla is pretty much doing everything correctly. And we knew that the Shanghai Gigafactory would keep on expanding more and more and they would become more efficient as a factory together. So they begin to be able to produce more and more vehicles as time goes on as, as they start to learn to be more efficient. So I would be as bold to say as these analysts are still thinking a little bit short term because they added a $100 addition to the share price just because of the fact that they started to see demand accelerate in China. Now, keep in mind, there's probably more reasoning behind that $100 increase, but that's what is basically stated in that article. And I think that could have been predicted way earlier on than waiting up until it hits $1,800 right now to change it. I think that could have been predicted way back in November. And like I said, yes, hindsight is 2020, but people were saying this way back in November. I remember watching videos on this, and I never personally got into Tesla until like January or February. Now, I'd always believed in Tesla, but I never made the moves to actually put money into it until that point in time. However, I watched a lot of content back in November and, and did research on it as well. So I would be as bold to say as that realization of the acceleration in demand in China could have been predicted way back in late November, late December of last year, and obviously probably a lot earlier if you're thinking more long term. And for those that were really bullish on Tesla back when it was like $300, I'm pretty sure this is not really any new news to anyone. We know that Tesla is scaling their business and expanding to different countries. And as that expansion goes further and further and as time goes on then we see more of a demand because there is this transition happening we know this transition is happening so even with this analyst releasing kind of a bullish price target it's still basing itself off of news that is being released like right now but that news was almost guaranteed or at least pretty easy to predict for it to happen many many months ago so it seems like analysts are still late to the party and, and late to this train on realizing the potential in Tesla right now and as we know the numbers have been proving it even even Elon Musk mentioned to Ron Barron like last year that Q2 of 2020 is when everything really starts to come together. And so we're seeing numbers fall into place and the Model 3 sales are going crazy right now. And so Tesla sales are pretty impressive across the globe. And so like I said, when there are price target updates and things like this, I always like to check that out and, and share it with you all. But one thing I did notice with that article is that it's taking into factor a $100 increase based off of something that could have probably been easily predicted like a year ago or in late December of last year. And that right there, my friends, is why the share price is so high for Tesla, because I think a lot of retail investors have already picked up on this potential and understand that it is very likely for these things to happen. Because so far, Tesla has done what they said they were going to do, and that is to be expected for the future as well. So nothing here is really surprising. It's not surprising to see accelerating demand for EVs in China, and it's not surprising surprising for the Tesla Model 3 to be selling very well in China. So the things that analysts seem to be just now picking up on are really no surprise to us retail investors, a lot of us retail investors, and of course some institutional investors as well, that have already been taking these factors into consideration. And so this may have definitely contributed to some of the bigger movements that we saw today with Tesla. It's likely a factor in why we saw such a huge growth day for Tesla today at plus 11.30%. And I don't think it's just the fact that the price target has been upgraded to $1,900 is the main reason for the growth. I think the growth is mainly because, of course, we have this
this split coming up soon near the end of the month and people just want to get on it right now before it splits and everyone has more access to purchasing shares but i also think that one of the main reasons this price jumped up today was mainly because of that of course but also a small factor might have been because of that news piece and the main driving factor of that news piece, is my, in my opinion, is not because they've increased their price target to $1,900. It's not because $1,900 is more than the current share price. In my opinion, the reason that news is seen as good to investors is, of course, people like us, and, and like I've explained in this video, we already understand that these things are happening. And, and these analysts are just now changing their perspectives based on things that we've understood many, many months ago. So people realize that as well. They realize that analysts, some analysts are behind on in terms of predictions for the future and then they also realize the fact that these analysts are upgrading their price target in the wake of tesla going on an absolute tear is a good thing as well in the past when we've had a big run-up like this we've been used to analysts being very bearish and saying this is just a huge run-up it's going to pull back significantly and drop back down to like 400 500 probably 300 we've heard them be very bearish in the past when tesla has a huge run-up and they almost like laugh at investors that are buying tesla whereas this time around We've had a, another run-up, of course, after that transition from $900, 950 to $1,500. We're once again seeing this run-up again going from $1,400 to like $1,837 right now. And instead of analysts saying, okay, Tesla is not worth this value, this is ridiculous, now we're seeing a lot of analysts actually upgrading their price targets, upgrading their fair values, talking about a positive future for Tesla, actually being slightly bullish on Tesla or at least neutral. It seems as time goes on and Tesla continues to prove analysts wrong, that there continues to be fewer and fewer bearish people on Tesla. And of course, there's always going to be Tesla bears. That's just how it's going to be with, with every stock. Even over time, as you have stocks like Apple that have performed very, very well over time and has like a, a pretty long period of growth in the stock market, there's still Apple bears. So there's always going to be Tesla bears as well. But I think this, this news piece is important to people because not only are we realizing that analysts are still behind on the information, but the fact that instead of them being bearish on this whole run-up recently, the fact that they're still increasing price targets and, and kind of going along with the movements of the share price, then that does at least show some positivity on the outlook of the future of Tesla because it's not like it hit 1830 today and they said, okay, the new price target for Tesla is going from $1,400 to $1,500. They're basically upgrading it higher than what the share price is right now. So at least in terms of analysts, which are sometimes pretty bearish, we're seeing some positive outlooks on Tesla. So I think that's good news. And I think a small, small, small factor of that has contributed to some growth for Tesla today. I think the main reason for growth is just this most recent run-up. People are getting excited about it. They want to get in on Tesla stock, and then they're also excited about the stock split. But I also think this news piece today was pretty important as well. So anyways, I just wanted to share this video with y'all. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to smash that like button. And also, feel free to check out Robinhood and Weeble in the description below. If you sign up with my referral link, then you'll get some free stocks. And with Weeble, you can get two free stocks by signing up with my link and depositing $100. Keep in mind, you can take it right back out so it's just passive income but i hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope you have a fantastic rest of your week